always reminds me, I say it most times, that this to me is a community. I value that and hopefully you value that and that's where the networking and the working together actually works for this Wealth Management Association. Please keep doing what you can to talk to anybody about the issues of how regulation in Europe is affecting your community. I think if Britain left the EU it would probably be a complete disaster. I, uh, I have a vision of the UK as a kind of overpopulated Iceland without the fish. Um, I, I think that because we have had, as it were, very negative press about the EU for the last 30 years, the obvious benefits of the EU are not aware, or, or, or the population are not aware of the obvious benefits, but I think they would be um, pretty well aware once we came out. So I, I would be very strongly opposed to an exit. Well, I, certainly a lot of FT readers have become more sceptical about the merits of EU membership like the population at large and they naturally see a kind of wave of regulation coming from Brussels, particularly in financial services. And so that's probably exacerbated any scepticism they may have had beforehand. Um, but I still think at the end of the day, FT readers are rational types and they will balance up both sides of the argument and they will realise that actually uh, Britain has too much to lose by cutting itself off. And actually also when you look at what the alternatives are, they will realise that they're probably not much better. Uh, and when people talk about taking advantage of the, the BRICS, the emerging markets, if we left the EU, I'm not clear what law it is in the EU that says that you can't export to India or China now. In fact, the biggest exporter to India and China is Germany, and Germany is very much part of the EU. So you don't need to leave the EU to focus on India, China and the others. I would also ask, before we rush in that direction, whether the Indian, Indians and the Chinese and the BRICS and so on actually want us to export to them. You know, it takes two to tango. Well, from an Indian perspective, and that's the, all that I'm really talking about, I believe that it would really make no difference uh, whether the UK remained in the EU or not. It's really for the UK to decide what is best for itself. From an Indian standpoint, uh, it invests more in the UK than all of other European countries put together. 70% of all investments into Europe have their headquarters in the UK. So it would seem to me that they're using the UK to get into Europe and not the other way around in terms of market access. I, I think that the vote would be in favor of staying um, because ironically, most of the things that really upset people about the EU, the regulation and so on, and the bureaucracy, wouldn't go away if we left. You know, if we left the EU, we'd still have to comply with all the regulation that comes out of Brussels if you want to sell into the, into the EU market. So what are you gaining by leaving? Well, I think one must start from the business point of view to start with. It's always hard numbers. Uh, people are there in business to make a profit, not a loss. But the softer issues do come in. You know, how comfortable is one in, in, in a country? So for example, with the UK, there are 1.4 million people of Indian origin. Uh, chicken tikka masala is now number one food. It has overtaken fish and chips. Uh, the first Indian to become an MP in the UK was way back in 1892. So the roots of friendship and goodwill are deep. And I think that will continue, quite frankly. So when it comes abroad, especially into Europe, will it continue to come into the UK? I think it will, definitely. Please, whoever you're talking to, let them understand this is not about whether we're in or out of Europe. This is the fact that for the wholesale community, it can work across boundaries, acting principle. When you work for consumers in 28 different cultural backgrounds, you cannot work on a single rule book in the same way. It just doesn't work culturally. And we're hitting those barriers now. So that's one of our main things for you to help us with. But other than that, thank you for coming and please enjoy the drinks. Thank you.